Hi all, this is Sammy from Avid CNC and this is a quick pro tip video on how to run an air pass on your CNC machine. First of all, what is an air pass? This is when you set your Z0 a few inches above your workpiece and then run your G-code program to preview how the toolpath will overlap your material. This can help you ensure that the toolpath will land on the desired location and avoid any work holding features or knots. We have an additional pro tip video linked below demonstrating how to work around knots and clamping fixtures. Let's attach our material to the spoil board. I'll opt for metal fasteners as screws are super strong and ensure that my workpiece won't shift during the machining operation. The trade-off with this work holding strategy is that if any of my screws overlap the toolpath, this will likely ruin the router bit as well as my workpiece. While I'm confident that the locations of the screws are safe, let's run an air pass to ensure that the toolpath is centered on the material. In VCarve, I have two toolpaths programmed to cut this wooden dish. This includes a pocket and a profile toolpath. You could use these toolpaths to run your air pass, but it would take quite a bit of time to run. Instead, I'll program a second profile toolpath, which is only an eighth inch deep, and I'll use the same settings of the final profile toolpath. This way, when we run the toolpath as an air pass, it will follow the outside of the shape we're cutting and provide us with all the information we need in a short amount of time. We just like to ensure that we aren't colliding with any clamps, metal fasteners, or knots in our material. Let's export this toolpath separately and name it Air Pass. In Mach 4, we'll go ahead and use our AutoZ corner finding touch plate to set our work offset. Great, once we've set our X, Y, and Z zero, let's take a look at our Z location. The tip of the router bit is two inches above the material surface, which was our Z zero reference plane. We can type in zero to the Z text box or click zero Z, and now we've reset our Z datum location. The tip of the router bit is where the machine thinks the material surface is. Then go ahead and load your AirPass G-Code program. We'll take a look in the G-Code window. If you use the most up-to-date Vectric Avid CNC Post Processor, this will include information on machining extents. We can see that our Z minus extreme is about an eighth of an inch. So since we're actually two inches above our material surface, we can be confident that we won't accidentally cut into our material on the AirPass. I'll leave the spindle controller turned off so that our spindle won't turn on during the program. Go ahead and click cycle start. Great, we can rerun the air pass a few times to ensure its location or make adjustments to the toolpath if needed. Once we're happy with the location of our part on our material, Let's reset the Z offset to the material surface. If in Mach 4, our Z location now reads one inch, we know that this is actually three inches above the material surface. So you can change the one to three in the Z location text box. Or go ahead and use the Auto Z and corner finding touch plate to reset the Z offset. Next, we'll turn on our spindle controller We'll load our final G-code program with the pocket and profile toolpaths. Go through the 10-step cycle start checklist and then click cycle start.
that's all for this pro tip video. We've linked a few more helpful tips and processes in the description below. Thanks y'all for watching. I can't wait to see what you make and I'll see you in the shop.